Rethink how you treat Jesus. Loving others unconditionally means seeing other people as God sees them, and treating each other based on that divine knowledge. On the cross of Calvary, Jesus substituted himself for each of us. He died in our place, and gave us his life. Every born-again Christian has Jesus Christ literally living in them, by his Spirit. He is living in us, so he's experiencing everything we experience. So, what do you think happens, when we mistreat, and abuse each other? Because, Jesus lives in us, and experiences what we experience, he feels, everything, we feel. Every insult, we hurl at each other, he feels. Every lie, we tell on each other, every betrayal of trust, he knows exactly, how it feels. When we do it to each other, we are doing it, to him. When you look at another Christian, with scorn, Jesus looks back at you, through that person's eyes, and feels exactly, what you're projecting at them. Exactly, what we think of another Christian, in that moment, that's exactly, what we're thinking of Jesus. Jesus said, I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me into your home. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you cared for me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then these righteous ones will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry, and feed you? Or thirsty, and give you something to drink? Or a stranger, and show you hospitality? Or naked, and give you clothing? When did we ever see you sick, or in prison, and visit you? And the king will say, I tell you the truth, when you did it, to one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were doing it, to me. Matthew, 25, verses 35 to 40.